Hello, I'm Stella. I'm Jock. I'm Katie. I'm Anastasia. I'm Marcus. And I'm Beth. We are from Bucky High, a secondary school situated in Bucky, a small town in the Murray Firth coast, and this is our LDP 2020 Youth Engagement presentation. Bucky is situated in the local authority of Murray. Murray is located in the northeast of Scotland, with Murray Firth to the north and the Cairngorms National Park to the south. Murray was given the name Morib in 870 AD. This originates from the Celtic meaning of sea and settlement. The Murray Firth is an area that we should all be proud of, an inlet of the North Sea. It is the largest firth in Scotland with 500 miles of coastline. It is the most popular place to observe whales and dolphins. It is estimated that there are over 100 dolphins that live in the Murray Firth, with harbour seals a common sight in places such as Port Gordon. All along the coastline, many of our villages and towns still have working fishing industries and celebrate the significance of these areas through fishing heritage museums such as the one in Bucky. It isn't just the wildlife in the Murray Firth, but also the fact that the Murray Firth has one of the largest sand dunes in Britain at Colbane Forest, with Colbane Bar an excellent example of a shingle spit in the UK, natural and unspoiled. Murray has also had a rich and diverse history, whether it is the Lantern of the North or Elgin Cathedral, or one of the many castles we have at Duffus, Rothfuss or Lady Hill. We even have connections to Macbeth, where he apparently met the three witches at the Hillock at Brody. And who could forget the importance of the malt whisky in Murray? There are several trails where visitors can go and see the current and previous methods of taking our world famous whiskies. And finally, who can forget that Murray's unique in the sense it has part of the Cairngorm National Park within their boundaries? We are extremely lucky to have resorts such as the Lech and the Cairngorms within an hour to allow access to winter and summer sports. So, what is LTP? It's short for Local Development Plan, and Murray has one. It's a summary of its vision to 1. Accommodate a growing population which retains more of the younger population and attracts new residents. Two, board business base with stable, well-paid and high quality jobs, which focuses on engineering, science, technology, tourism and food and drinks. Like being you? Yeah. Three, attractive, sustainable environments where people wish to live and work, high quality design and open spaces. Four, good effective transport system, that's a good one, the bus is always late. And five, the introduction of more renewable energy. Hmm. That sounds interesting. So what are we going to do about it? Hey. Hey there. You know that LDP thing you were talking about earlier? Yeah. Well, I've had an idea. Okay. Let's make a video. As students, we feel as though we need to share our experiences of being in Murray and mm -hmm. hopefully identify what we consider priorities for the development. This would help attract residents to the local authority, don't you think? Yeah, that's a great idea. Here in Murray, the reality of housing is really poor but is slowly improving. All across the many villages, cities and towns, houses are old, run down and the new housing estates being built are skyrocketing in prices which the people of Murray can simply not afford. For example, the average salary of the people here in Murray is £25,500 and the average housing price is £161,667. The purchasing of a lower quartile priced home in Murray, which is around £90,000, is only affordable to a single full-time earner of a salary of £27,000 per year. This is more than we can afford. However, there are affordable homes being built with a modern touch all around Murray. The downside to these is that it is a mandatory of the building proposals to have 25% of them being affordable, therefore leading to an outnumbering of larger expensive houses to affordable family homes. This is an increasing problem as due to the oil crisis and large redundancy that hit Murray, people can no longer afford to move into these type of houses and are often looking for something reasonable, practical and affordable. What do we want to do? Here in Murray, we would like the housing to reflect the character and sense of identity each little town has. For example, in Lossiemouth, the Osprey House in development brings in a sense of colour and this increases the identity of the town. We would also like the house and image of Murray to be modern. For example, the developments of many houses across Murray are nice to look at and really create some diversity for, from the older council housing. However, we feel that these houses look almost identical and this creates a very commercialised look to the town and we feel that by creating carbon copies of each town, 
We aren't creating the homely, exciting vibe of Murray that we want. The wind farm project. The council aims to increase energy efficiency and the proportion of energy generated from renewable sources. Now, how will this affect Murray? The Murray Council have started the development of a wind farm in the Murray Firth coast, which is best seen from Port Gordon. The total area of the wind farm is 295 kilometers squared and has to be 13.5 miles from the coast. This will create jobs for the people of Murray and will increase the real estate as people will want to move to places nearer where they can find work. However, this wind farm, how renewable and benefiting it will be, will also be a huge eyesore on the landscape. For example, in Lossiemouth especially, because there will be a huge amount of people selling their holiday homes due to the fact that their beautiful view of the Firth is being ruined. This will impact the tourism industry greatly. In Murray, there are five leisure centres, Bucky, Keith, Lossiemouth, Elgin and Forest. They offer swimming pools, gyms, halls for a number of sports and play field grounds that can host football, rugby and cricket tournaments. Bucky and Forest leisure centres are established facilities for Scottish swimming. In Elgin, there is a large leisure centre in Murray. It has a swimming pool, gym, spa and an ice rink. Elgin Town Hall hosts many events such as Murray College, graduation, concerts for bands and charities as well as upcoming trends like Comic Con. Elgin is recognised as the main central hub of Murray. It has many chain stores and high street stores. These are New Look, Next, B&Q, Boots, Sports Direct and Matalan. They also have two main supermarkets, Asda and Tesco Extra, which are open for 24 hours. They also have a Marks and Spencers. In the city centre of Elgin, there's a shopping centre, St Giles, as well as a high street that contains phone shops and coffee franchises like Starbucks and Costa. For recreation, Elgin has a cinema which shows the latest films and has a climbing wall in one of the old churches. Across Murray, it has many open spaces for the residents to visit, such as Cooper's Park and Grant Park. The Colours of Clooney is a winter event that happens in Forest. It is an event where Clooney Hill is lit up with different coloured lights and have many other activities to participate in. Face painting, toasting marshmallows and watching fire breathers are examples. For those who enjoy the outdoors, there is a main place along the Murray coastline and inside of Murray for you to enjoy. Winding Rocks, the Bin Hill and the Bowfiddle Rock, Lossy Beach and many more. However, it is not all it seems. For the young people in Murray, there is not much activities for them to do. Many have to travel out with of Murray to do some activities at the weekends. The reality of transport in Murray is not the expectation the public of Murray would like. For example, here in Bucky, buses to Elgin come once every hour or in some cases not at all. This is an inconvenience as many of the public rely on buses mainly for careers they may have out of town. In Murray, there are three train stations, Keith, Elgin and Forest. These stations are based on the Aberdeen to Inverness route, but is three really enough? Another main problem is the roads in Murray. For example, the A96 is a main road for drivers on the Elgin to Inverness route, and this road is not a dual carriageway, which causes many problems with traffic as situations such as a slow tractor on the road could cause heavy congestion for miles. In Murray, we would like there to be more frequent bus times so people can reach their destination quicker. A bus from Bucky to Keith would also enable many people to save money on time instead of getting two buses to the train station. Another way to improve infrastructure and transportation in Murray is by introducing more electric car charging points. With the rise of the electric car already taking place and car manufacturers such as Volkswagen, Range Rover and Jaguar making only electric cars from the next decade onwards, the need for more charging points will rise and Murray has to be prepared. To conclude, LDP 2020 is giving us a voice in regards to how we want to change where we live for the better. Murray is a place where people grow up, leave and then return to grow old and we want that to change. We want Murray to be able to give younger people the right opportunities to stay here and be able to thrive instead of moving away. Thank you very much for this opportunity.